I think that's Rocky Mountain National Park off in the distance. You can take this road all the way into Granby and then over Trail Ridge Road through Rocky Mountain National Park and end up in Estes Park. We're in Empire, Colorado, and we are headed over Bertha Pass to Winter Park. We'll turn around there and come back. This is a, an amazing road, really enjoyable. Uh, should be a lot of fun. It's really pretty. A uh, quaint little town at the entrance to this uh, to the pass that goes over to Granby from here. All right, it's uh, around 20 miles from here to the other side of the of the pass. Uh, pretty fun, pretty fun road. I've done it in my car a few times, but I've never done it on my motorcycle. So I'm looking forward to it. it should be a lot of fun today. I've got a couple of people with me on the ride today person right behind me is Chris and he's on a BMW S1000RR and then in a, a Lexus SUV behind him is Sentel. We're, this, this ride is part of a bigger trip that we've had today starting at 8 o'clock this morning where we Road from Golden up over Lookout Mountain. Then we did Colorado 103 by the road that turns off to Mount Evans, down to Idaho Springs, up to Georgetown. Then we went up and over Guanella Pass and uh, stopped for lunch. Now we're headed up over from Empire. We're headed up over Berthoud Pass to uh, Winter Park. We'll turn around at Winter Park and come back. Beautiful scenery. The mountains are in full summer splendor with pine trees and green grasses and it hasn't dried up yet so it's Really verdant and green, it looks beautiful. Temperature's about 78 degrees, which is really pleasant. It'll probably drop a little as we go over the pass, but not too bad. Even up at the top of Guanella Pass, it was only about 70 degrees. So, uh, it's, a, it's a great day for a ride, beautiful weather. might rain on us just a little bit. In fact, it feels like it's starting to. <laughs> Sprinkle here or there. A bit of a dark cloud, but it shouldn't be, shouldn't be too long and it shouldn't last for too long. That's what I'm, that's what I'm telling myself anyway. <laughs> I hope that the other guy I'm riding with is alright with the, with the rain. Flashes as bright as me. Just concerned about it. Sure is a pretty canyon.
smell breaks. <laughs> As is often the case when you get to the beginning of a pass like this. <laughs> you can smell the brakes from the cars coming down the other side. Alright, let's go. This is where the fun begins. traffic road so it's generally uh, fairly wide like this for most of it which certainly is safer there isn't a ton of traffic like there is right now really cool view of the valley right here the I-70 cutting through the canyon. Decent amount of wind up here. I can feel it blowing me around. You can see the road winding up through the mountain right there. Seven. Probably not a bad car to take up this road. Great corners. They're tight, but they're not. <laughs> Big sweepers. that I'm riding with. Another good look at the road in the distance. A couple of GS 1200s or 1250s. Cutting up through that part of the mountain. A couple more adventure bikes, a couple of BMWs. Those look like 8, 850 GSs. It's another 1200 GS. Here's the summit. Stop it, see if we can see a view. Really bad paved parking lot. Oh, look at that view. see the road from here. Beautiful bike. Figured we'd stop and look at the view. 
I think that's Rocky Mountain National Park off in the distance. You can take this road all the way into Granby and then over Trail Ridge Road through Rocky Mountain National Park and end up in Estes Park. Uh, we pulled over and took a look at the scenery. It's really beautiful. Now we're back on the road. We're headed down from the pass, uh, the summit of the pass, down to Winter Park. Look at that beautiful road. Looks like it's freshly paved. It's really smooth. Beautiful canyon. Look at the. I love to be able to see that road off in the distance. Got a good picture for where you're headed. Definitely don't want to be on the outside of these corners. There's a lot of loose gravel. Really beautiful view of the mountains in the distance. It's really pretty. Some big rocks. Having fallen off the side of the mountain there. Rolled probably sometimes even onto the road. Uh, that reminds me of a that reminds me of a time we were coming back from Utah and we were coming out of Payson Canyon on the way towards Grand Junction and uh, we came around a corner and there was a car stopped in the, in the road and it happened to be a road like this we were going up so it was a double lane and uh, the car was stopped on the, on the road and there was a rock the size of a Volkswagen bug right in front of it. And I think the car had hit it, if I can remember correctly. I, we got some pictures of it, but I'm not sure I'll be able to find them. Um, but it was uh, really surprising that, that a rock that big had fallen uh, and, and almost smashed a car it, at least hit it so I've never seen something like that before but it does happen sometimes this is Winter Park right here Mary Jane this is part of the Winter Park This is Winter Park Ski Resort right here. We've gone into Winter Park, the town. We got gas filled up, uh, turned around, and this is the way back. Uh, so we're headed back towards I-70 
and over Bertha Pass again. Looks like we've got some dark clouds over there. Might get a little, little bit of rain as we cross over, but that'll be fine. It's 82 degrees down here in town. Might rain on us. Yeah, that's what I was seeing too. That'll be exciting. They've got the gondolas running today, it looks like. That's pretty cool. that uh, she had my Uncle Bill watch it uh, and uh, that got me thinking about when I was a kid um, Uncle Bill was motorcycle hero number one uh, I know a lot of people have you know follow MotoGP or Grand Prix or motocross, they have their Viking heroes of those people. I can remember Ricky Johnson rode for Honda when I was a kid, and that was uh, somebody I always thought, oh wow, what a great rider. But uh, for me, uh, none of them could top my Uncle Bill. We would go to the sand dunes or on family vacations, family reunions, things like that up in the mountains. And he and uh, my other uncles would all have their motorcycles and that was always a big part of what we did. And Uncle Bill was always, to me anyway, he was always the most amazing rider. There's a lake at the sand dunes by where I live that's not very deep and you can ride across it. And I can remember him doing doing wheelies all the way across the lake. And uh, as, a, as a kid that was just the most amazing thing I'd ever I'd ever seen in my life. Uh, I can remember just feeling like, wow, if I can ever get to the point where I can ride like Uncle Bill, then I'll then I'll be somebody. So, Uncle Bill, you were an inspiration. It was great as a kid. Great to have somebody like that to look up, look up to, and try to emulate. Uh, he was also a great man, so that made a big difference as well. Had a great family. And was always inclusive. My uncle Ron. Uh, would also uh, always make it a point to have a motorcycle available for me. They they were backyard mechanics and always had a bunch of motorcycles that were just this side of broken down. But get them running and we'd have a really good time up in the mountains even as a as a 12 and 13 year old I didn't have a motorcycle that I could ride by myself so I can remember him letting me ride one of the one of the bikes they had they were always too tall 
I've mentioned before I'm short. I was even shorter as a kid. So I could hardly ever touch the ground. But um, just had a I had a passion for riding. And so I would find any opportunity to try and go for a ride on a motorcycle. I can remember one trip we were on uh, up in the mountains in Idaho and we were on a trail ride, a single track, and it was fairly technical. Uh, there were river crossings and, well, creek crossings, I guess I'd say. Not, not much river to them, but creek crossings and uh, thin sections, rocky sections, steep uphills, gravelly parts, uh, really <laughs> not your not your forest service type road. Uh, and I was I can remember being a kid trying to ride a an old Yamaha uh, that I think my uncle Ron let me borrow. And uh, the clutch lever broke. Uh, and so I, I had to kind of hold it with my finger while I was riding to keep it in place, which wasn't easy as you're trying to ride a technical trail. And then I think the pin broke uh, where it, where it uh, hinged. Uh, and then uh, the clutch or the, the shifter lever, my left foot broke off completely. <laughs> so. I was stuck in second gear um, and rode that way for a little while and it's really hard if you're stuck in second gear and you're trying to ride a technical trail because you can't shift up or down. Usually down is the problem and so I kept stalling out and tipped the bike over and finally I can remember my, I think it was my Uncle Bill, uh, happened to have a pair of vice grips in his in his bag and so he attached the vice grips to the place where the shift lever had broken and i wrote it wrote it back to camp uh using a pair of vice grips as a as a shifter it was pretty tricky pretty fun though great memories as a kid uh, i really appreciate my uncles watching out for me and giving me opportunities to learn how to ride and spend time in the mountains uh, doing such an enjoyable activity. Great memories. Look at that scenery out there at the mountains in the background. It's just gorgeous. Oh, what a place. What a place. That's cool, you can see the valley off in the distance there. Really pretty. That's cool, above the tree line right there too. See the bowl, the, kind of that bowl in the mountain. It's pretty neat. I'll just pull off here. Because I can. Wait for my buddies to catch up. They caught up. Was it too long? <laughs> I just can't drive slow enough to stay with them <laughs> when I'm in front. 
but well, maybe I'll get through the canyon and then pull off in the town. We're just about down. There's only a few more corners if I remember right. Well, that's the ride for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. There's another hat. That's the second hat I've seen today on the road. There was a red one earlier, and that was a camouflage one.